Hey everyone, thanks for tuning to this evening's Stormwatch update. We've had some storms down in the far south and southeast uh, earlier today, three this morning into the early part of the afternoon. They're pushing northwards into hours and minutes, sort of fizzled out uh, quite a lot. So that first area of uh, storms is sort of died at death. We could get some more coming up from the southeast through the course of this evening. Um, I'm not all that sure about these storms, really, how um, widespread they're going to get. I, I think we're going to finish up with that band of heavy rain I've been talking about through Scotland, Northern England, and Wales through the course of tomorrow. I'm not quite sure how we get there, but I think we will get to that. Um, but where there's going to be many storms coming up out of France uh, through the course of this evening, I'm just not all that sure. So we're going to have a look at the charts on it in a moment anyway. It's going to be basically a case of just looking out your window and seeing what's happening. And if you hear some rumbles of thunder or see some flashes of lightning at some point through tonight, then uh, you'll know they have developed. But uh, I've not got great confidence in uh, in this one. So it's very difficult to uh, forecast for the storms in the United Kingdom. I'm not sure quite why it is. Um, it's harder, I find it harder to forecast thunderstorms than snow. And snow is pretty difficult in this country to uh, forecast, but thunderstorms always uh, present a bit of a nightmare uh, for forecasters, to be honest. We'll have a look at all the charts in a moment, but very good on that, just say about the assets and articles on the page. The assets are going to have browse widgets, any articles that you're interested in. Please click free your article off and read the article. Thanks very much for doing that. So, with the radar picture from the weather outlook, and this is the first area of uh, thunderstorms that was down in the south and south east through this morning. It's up across Wales and the Midlands now. Quite heavy rain across southern parts of Wales and southwestern England. Not reproducing thunder, but quite heavy rain. Um, and sort of sporadic bursts of showery rain then through uh, other parts of Wales and into the Midlands. Then we're into a drier slot, but you'll notice I've got a few showers breaking out around London. They could be turning thundery through this evening. And then these very bright echoes across northern parts of France. There are definitely thunderstorms there uh, across uh, northern parts of uh, France and into uh, Belgium as well. You can see them quite clearly on the other side of the channel. If you have a look at the lightning detector device, you'll be able to see that uh, loads of storms there over the continent. Um, will they push up into the United Kingdom, though, or will they go north through the North Sea? Uh, let's see what the models are showing. So we'll start off with the GFS, and this is the low pressure that's bringing all of this confusion uh, across all the parts of France. As we go through uh, the next few hours, that low pressure will push up into the UK. Just how much uh, energy has with it, how much precipitation it provides. But by doing it through 6 o'clock in the morning, there is an area of low pressure sitting over the top of eastern uh, England. So definitely the low is coming up. It's just a question of how active it is. Um, this is precipitation forecast then from the GFS. Well, there's all those thunderstorms across uh, the other side of the channel at 6 o'clock in the evening. Around now, we're doing the recording. Also, the rain down across South Wales and southwestern England. Now, this is what the GFS has by midnight. It's got that band of rain developing through uh, northern England, Wales, and uh, southwest England through the Irish Sea. Um, then it has a drier slot through Lincolnshire and Midlands. I mean, it does produce more, probably, thunderstorms across East Anglia and southeastern England. But the main cluster, as you can clearly see by the, the deeper blue, is still over the other side of the North Sea uh, across the Low Countries. But it does bring something back in towards the southeast through the course of this evening. And then by 6 o'clock in the morning, there is that uh, band of very heavy rain uh, through Scotland, northern England, down into Wales, and southwestern England as well. The storms over East Anglia and Lincolnshire are starting to uh, die down. Through the course of tomorrow, that band of heavy rain is there in the north and west. So that is where uh, the westest weather from all this is going to be in the north and west. Persistent, heavy, at time torrential rain in some places, for it all clears away easels, but fizzles out as it does so as it pushes onto the eastern side of the country through the course of time. That's how the GFS is seeing things. This is the high resolution Euro 4 from the website Weather Online. This is the UK Met Office product um, and the UK Met Office forecast based on this. So, this is what the model uh, was seeing for uh, midday. Quite a good forecast, actually, of all, uh, all those heavy um, storms down in the south. We can see that that did pan out quite well. Uh, as we go through into 6 o'clock in the evening, this is what it's predicting for 6 o'clock in the evening, with the first area of storms across Wales and southwestern England sort of dying out. I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good representation 
representation of where we are now. Also bringing these, uh, this next cluster of storms into the southeast. They're the storms that we just looked at on the radar picture over the continent, not yet really pushing into the southeast, but they may do over the next uh, couple of hours. By the time we go through to midnight, the uh, Euro 4 sees that band of persistent rain developing through northern England, Wales and the southwest, and showers, if not thunderstorms, through the Midlands and parts of eastern uh, England. Moving through to 6 o'clock in the morning, that cluster of storms across Wales and East Anglia goes off, uh, the Midlands and East Anglia goes off into the North Sea, and we've got this persistent band of rain through Scotland, northern England, and down into southwest England. There could be some thunder in with that, but I think it's more a persistent area of rain than anything else to be honest going through into tomorrow and the euro 4 then has that uh, band of rain moving eastwards across the country through the course of the day perhaps even quite heavy rain in the east uh, through the course of tomorrow afternoon but probably not too much in the way of thunder by midnight saturday it's all calming down as it's going off into the north sea and then finally the high resolution wrf model um this is always similar to the GFS, so we start off at uh, 5 o'clock in the evening uh, with uh, storms through the uh, south. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, it's further north, that area of storms, uh, as we've already seen, but dying down through the Midlands and Wales. Let's see how it develops things through the evening. And it does bring some very heavy rain back into the southeast uh, this evening. These are thunderstorms coming back in towards the far southeast with those bright colours. Um, and they push northwards through the course of the evening, going up in towards Wales particularly. Uh, so they sort of go in a southeast to northwest type direction trajectory, perhaps uh, clipping the South Midlands, but mainly going through into Wales. Not a great deal across the Midlands and Eastern England. And uh, then as we go through into the early hours of the morning, there's that distinct band of heavy and thundery rain stretched out from Scotland into Northern England, down to Wales and through into southwestern parts of England, which uh, eventually sort of dies out uh, during the course of tomorrow. There it goes, it comes across the country, it sort of dies down, but could get some heavy showers into the southeast uh, for a time tomorrow afternoon. So you, I've gathered from that, it's a very complicated one in terms of pinning the detail down on this. I think the south is always going to have the greatest risk of hearing some thunder through the course of tonight. Uh, almost certainly we are going to get this band of heavy and persistent rain developing through Scotland, Northern England, Wales, down southwest England by the end of the night and into tomorrow. Whether anywhere else gets much in the way of thunder, uh, we'll have to wait and see. It's going to be a now cast uh, type scenario. So don't be all that surprised if you hear a rumble of thunder. It'll see a flash of lightning um, at some point tonight. But uh, equally, they're going to be hit and miss, I think. So uh, not everywhere will catch these by any means. But we'll wait and see what happens. If you do get some lightning and thunder, don't forget you can email your pictures. If you manage to take some pictures, uh, stay safe, of course. Um, take the most pictures. But if you manage to get a picture, you can email them to me at uh, gasworthies at gmail.com or send them to me on Twitter or that kind of thing, and we can feature them in the video. Well, that's all for now, and uh, thanks for watching.